guys, I'm back and today's video is going to be a quick review of the St. Ives new continuous spray body lotion. Now if you recall a while back, maybe even a year ago now, I reviewed the Vaseline Spray and Go Lotion. St. Ives has now come out with the exact same product just in a new brand with different scents available, basically the St. Ives scents. Otherwise they are exactly the same thing. They are both 6.5 fluid ounces. They both come in obviously the spray can containers that are pretty much similar to spray on sunscreen. You basically use them the same way so you twist to open and you spray it on and you rub it in and that's it. What I love about these lotions is that they are meant to be fast absorbing and non-greasy so basically you're able to spray them on and get dressed immediately without your jeans, for example, being hard to pull up or anything kind of feeling sticky or stuck to your body. And they basically live up to these claims. I love these products. I'm excited that we now have new options available to us because my favorite drugstore lotion is the St. Ives Coconut Milk and Extract Scent. So as you can imagine, as soon as these became available, I had to grab them. As much as I love the cocoa butter scent, I just love my coconut milk and orchid extract one better because it's a lot lighter of a scent. So since they're basically the exact same thing, you're probably wondering whether or not there are any significant differences. The main differences that I'm noticing is the availability of different scents. So just like Vaseline, St. Ives comes in three different scents and one of them is the coconut milk and orchid extract, my favorite. The other, is the citrus and vitamin C scent, which is actually a very nice, light, citrusy, clean scent. It's, it's actually less citrusy and feels just more clean than smelling like oranges, which, what is, which is what I expected. Um, but I still like it. It's very clean and it's very light, so it's not overpowering. And then the third scent it came in was the oats scent, which I didn't purchase because I just don't want that scent, so I didn't get it. I paid $5.99 for each bottle of mine, plus I had a $1.50 off coupon for each one. So basically I ended up paying about $4.50 each. I don't know what, <laughs> what more I can say about it. They do hydrate. I'm not sure how well they would work on someone with really dry skin because these are very light lotions. It goes on incredibly thin. So if you have really, really dry skin, I'm not sure how great these would be. But if you're looking for light hydration, something that's not going to be very heavy, I think these will be perfect for you. And if you happen to love the Vaseline Spray and Go line and you just wanted more scents to be available from different brands, then it looks like other brands are really starting to branch out and include these in their lines. So I'm really excited that we have more choices and hopefully the next time you guys are at the drugstore and you see these, you have the opportunity to pick them up and test them out. I think you'll like them, especially if you happen to like the others before them. <laughs> All right, that's it. Pretty easy peasy. Let me know which one of these you are interested in going out to get for yourself. Comment below. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer. And until next time, bye.